Hello everybody, my name is Maddie, and today we're going to be looking at another video. The video we're going to be looking at today is BTS singing Coldplay's Fix You Live. I do know who BTS is, I do know a little bit about them, but I'm excited to see what they sound like live. I imagine that they're pretty good singers live, but today we're going to find out how well they can actually sing under some pressure. Let's do it. Now just so you know, I've already recorded this video in the past, but the first part of my video where I introduced what song I'm reacting to got cut off. So I'm gonna cut back to the actual recording that I did of this video right now. Okay, let's get into the video, here we go. All right, so I'm hearing that same organ that was used in the original record right here, which is awesome to hear. Sometimes during covers, they'll use different instrumentation, but this seems pretty true to the original. When you try Nice. Okay. A lot of auto tune, but I he's hitting the notes pretty well. Nice. Same here, a lot of auto tune. Nice colored microphone though. I like this guy's voice. It's sort of a nasally sound. They're all good singers, though. This guy's got the I think this guy is might be my favorite in terms of tone. It's like nasally, but he's hitting it a lot more clear than some of these other guys. It's easier in my opinion to hit those high notes a bit breathy, but to come in with full tone like this guy, it's nice. I'm sure sure they can all hit it full voice but I'm sure they <laughs> let me pause it I'm sure they can all hit it in full voice I'm not like knocking on them or anything and I think the breathiness is just a stylistic choice because they're all good singers but so far that guy with sort of this cropped reddish hair has been my favorite and my best sounding to my ears It's a high song to sing now. Hitting the So you're hitting up to an A, that's no guy that I know, maybe save maybe Bruno Mars is hitting A in like a chesty voice. It's a mixed voice. And that's what these guys are doing here. And it can be a little bit more heady or a little bit more breathy, which is what I'm hearing from a lot of you, or from a lot of you, from a lot of the guys. And then a couple of them are hitting it with a little bit more full voice with a little bit more tone behind it. And that usually sounds better into my ears. This guy, right here. Oh, nope. Right here. This guy was has been my favorite. Right here, yep. They know. They know who I'm talking about in the video. It's interesting that they're all sitting down. I mean, maybe it makes it a little bit less awkward, but normally when you're singing, you want to be standing so you can get full air into your diaphragm. You can have a fully supported voice. That's a good sound. I knew it. I knew it was that guy. That's a C sharp you just hit up there. That guy. I 
soon as I heard that sound, I was like, that's had to be him. And these other guys are good, but that guy is, is in my ear the best. See how it's more of a breathy sound from this guy? It sounds like a lot more auto tune too. Some of the vowels and consonants, I, the vowels are probably easy, but the consonants that they have to make in English are probably a lot different than the ones they're used to making in Korean which can be a reason for sounding unusual. When your voice and your vocal tract and your mouth isn't used to making a certain sound that you have in another language or another phoneme, it can sound weird. That's all there is to it. But well done, BTS, Fix You, Coldplay. Okay, we're gonna go back into this part. It's sort of the climax of the song here. Yep. That was it. Yep, that was that was the best part. Um, it's a bit yelly, but I like that sound. It's sort of passionate, and he's not straining. If you look at his vocal cords and you look at him, he's trying hard and he's putting a lot into it, but he's not he's not pushing it so far. He could sing that all night if he wanted to. He's in a mixed voice, which is a lot more healthy and a lot more sustainable than just yelling that. I don't know who this guy is, but he, in my ears, was the best. There was a couple obvious uses of autotune, but that's sort of BTS's sound. Even on their main records, their use of autotune is a little bit more than I would use. It's heavy-handed. When I use autotune on my voice, I don't like to be able to hear it, or if I do, extremely subtly. And subtle enough to where a normal listener wouldn't be able to tell. In this video, there's a few parts, and maybe it's because my ears tuned to it, that it sounds a little bit too auto-tuned. There's a couple reasons for that actually happening. When you're using auto-tune, the closer you are to the actual root note that you want to hit, the easier it is and the less work that auto-tune has to do to correct you. What has to happen if you're hitting a note it slightly flat or slightly sharp is autotune has more processing work to do which can give you that autotune sound if these singers aren't singing exactly on the notes that effect is going to be a lot more prominent and in a couple of these singers it was pretty prominent that just means that they were probably a little bit pitchy without autotune it would have sounded a little bit flat or a little bit sharp but with autotune it just sounds like the autotune is working that's totally fine when you have this many singers singing together having a little bit of autotune is super helpful singing the right notes and singing the correct harmonies at a source is the best way to get it to sound good but to get that perfect sort of pop cohesive sound auto-tune makes a lot of sense also the lighting cool the seating i wouldn't choose from a singing perspective but from an aesthetic perspective looks pretty cool and yeah i dig it pts you guys are great singers not too much from a music production standpoint to talk about here just a lot of singing knowledge if you're interested in that thank you so much for watching i appreciate you tuning in i'll see you in the next one peace